Women should learn how to punch because women should be capable of punching people who are touching them weird. Hi, I am Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica and uh, been doing a series of videos about the elimination of fear. And something that is very important is the elimination of fear specifically for women. Women have been taught their whole life to be more passive and that is not how we should be teaching them. Like A, we should teach men to be not creeps, but we should definitely teach women how to fucking hit people when something has gone wrong and things aren't, communication is not happening. So this is very important. There are very specific responses that people have when they are feared. There is fight, flight, freeze, or flow. Many people get stuck, not in fight or flight, they get stuck in freeze. And we've been hearing about it all the time lately. Um, and that is important that we train people until that doesn't happen anymore, right? Training is the most important way to get your brain to overcome a freeze response. If your brain commonly goes into a freeze response, then there's only one way to get out of that, and that is to train it out through specific scenario-based drills. So this is what we, I do with many of my clients, right? Is women should be trained slightly differently from men. They should be trained hyper-specifically, not say for the ring in the beginning, unless that is one of their primary goals, right? Kicking and punching heavy bags, probably not the best thing because they're gonna get a false sense of what needs to happen. Uh, something that is very important is that you figure out exactly how far away a target has to be when it's actually being aggressive at you. So throwing an elbow to a heavy bag is great. Throwing an elbow to somebody's head when they've got you by the hair and they're dragging you down to the ground is something that's a very specific skill that if you have never done it before, there's going to be a lag phase where your brain tries to figure out how to do it. The odds of it succeeding the first time it does it are, I don't know, low, let's just call it low. Um, anything you've done once, you can do again. So if you get somebody and they're a good trainer and they grab you by the hair and they have on a helmet and you can figure out how to hit them, if you've done it once, you can do it again. If you've done it 100 times, then the likelihood that you are going to do it is much higher, right? So it's a statistics game when training these types of things. You have to get in positions that are uncomfortable, that make people nervous, and you have to train them until they stop freezing, they move to fight, and then they move to flee, and somewhere in the middle, we might get them to flow, right? But the most important part is hitting moving targets that are actually being aggressive. Very close, very close. Anyway, so this was just like a thought video. Um, yeah, this has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. Learn to hit things, please, for the love of God. <laughs>